Peace, 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 power, and protection. Your eyes do not deceive you, beloveds. This is Q. I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls, have been doing amazing. I will this new year, this eight universal year, has been bringing a lot of blessings and wish fulfillments, all of those amazing energies I was picking up on at the end of 2023. Um, I will that that has all come into fruition for you all. Welcome to any of you that may be new. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. And of course, to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because I love y'all that much. I thank you to each of you that was, you know, checking in and checking up on a sister. Um, there was nothing wrong. Everything was right. I was just prioritizing, um, you know, and balancing out my work and life. Um, I relocated, I moved, I started a new career, a lot of changes, positive changes have been happening. So I've been just really just prioritizing and focusing on my personal life. Um, and I had to put some things on pause. And uh, one of those things was, you know, the readings and of course, uh, my Etsy shop, because I had to really kind of hone in and, and zone in on um you know, a lot of the uh, events that was taking place personally for me. But uh, to all of my uh, beloveds, you already know, I, I, I always send y'all infinite, infinite, infinite love and light. I will that you all have been having some amazing and spectacular uh, new beginnings this universal eight universal year. Um, so without further ado, I'm not going to do too much speaking before the reading. Uh, we're going to go ahead, proceed with the read after we pay homage and do some house cleaning to our beloved ancestors and angels. And then we shall go ahead and pick up and start the reading. Okay? So let's go ahead, get a nice deep inhale, and then we're going to exhale. And then we'll go ahead and start the reading, beloveds. I'll shake. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo. So it is currently 456 on the Klizak. And that breaks down to six. And so six is giving me an energy of trust your intuition. It's also telling me that there is perhaps some sort of balance. Maybe you're feeling like, you know, things are uh, coming more into alignment for you, perhaps in your career, maybe in your love life. Maybe you will be meeting someone that will feel like a spiritual connection, bond, partnership. Maybe you'll become committed in the month of June. Uh, maybe six is some of you all's life path number. Maybe some of you all, your solar returns fall on October 24th, uh, maybe on November 6th, November 15th. Um, I'm getting also that there is someone uh, perhaps from your past um, that may be kind of feeling a certain type of way. Maybe you're picking up on this intuitively, or maybe this is spirit's way of saying like, use your intuition with individuals that come from the past. Um, this is an energy of someone returning from the past after having some sort of regrets. I'm getting regrets. I'm getting just a heavy feeling. Um, I'm, I'm, I heard 
in my mind's eye, like someone has a heavy conscience. And before we get to the six of cups um, that I'm seeing in my mind's eye, you have to have that five of cups first. So there is this energy of like someone really like feeling a lot of regret or a lot of remorse. I'm hearing shame as well. Maybe someone is ashamed or someone was made to feel ashamed about a decision that they made. I feel like for whomever this resonates with, whatever comes back from your past, um, I always encourage people, like if someone is coming back under the guise of remorse and um, seeking forgiveness or appears to be, you know, apologetic, make sure that before you you know, move forward with anyone that you see change behavior because that is the sign that someone absolutely has matured or has grown or even has learned the lesson. Um, so if you see change behavior, that could be a clear indication that someone has actually done their work, has actually healed from the past, and now they have something new to present to you. So trust your intuition. Um, oh, snap. Snap. So, so for all of you that may not know, I am Claire Audient and I do incorporate music into my readings and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on this clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the songs may be playing, as well as what the cards may be showing. So it all just blends very beautifully. So I just responded like that because I wanted to show you that the song that's currently playing right now is called bad love and this is by dead so the death card is your energy scorpios so i'm absolutely feeling like you have transformed after the demise of some sort of relationship or after some sort of karmic completion you've wrapped up a cycle and now you've like come into your own you've come into some some newness like maybe you have a fresh perspective you've grown you've healed you have a new fresh start maybe you've moved you relocated maybe you started a new career maybe you started to jump start your business maybe you are in the process of you know starting a business so you could be getting licensing you could be getting certifications you could be going through that process right now someone that has been ob observing you from your past is really absolutely intrigued um, but this was someone that loved you bad they didn't love you right this is someone that you've had to either separate yourself from or you've had to grow through the pain of that relationship. And as I said, I was picking up like that five of cups where someone has remorse and regret. And it could be because you are really just embracing, you know, this new stage in your life. Like you're really just finally feeling free or feeling liberated or feeling invigorated in some way. So whatever this new energy is, um, whether it was just, you know, packing up and moving to a new location and getting out of the home that you may have shared with someone or getting out of a town that you may have lived in for so long. It's just like this new energy is is really just very, um, it, it has you in this beautiful energy of just elation and contentment. And that becomes very um, attractive to onlookers. And I feel like there's someone that now is realizing um, you know, just how impactful you may have been in their life or how significant the connection was that they didn't appreciate in the past. Now they're kind of observing you from a distance because I do get a sense of you like, you know, having, you know, these boundaries or having your walls up or being very guarded um, and protective of your energy, protective of your heart, protective of your who you have in your cipher, they now feel like they're on the outs. So maybe there's this feeling now that they are um, feeling abandoned or feeling rejected by you. Um, but this is all projection because I feel what you've done is just moved on. You've simply moved on. So if something was... Um, if there was a connection or a relationship that was toxic, that ended suddenly or blew up like the tower, I feel like you've done the necessary um, work to kind of recover from that. I get a feeling of like rejuvenation, rebirth. Like I see this, you know, this beautiful phoenix rising in my mind's eye. And it's like you're attracting 
a lot of onlookers, not just people from your past, but pe new people, you know, people are intrigued, people are interested, and people are drawn to you because you have this new energy. What's playing now is Fleetwood Mac, and this is called Rhiannon. And so Rhiannon is a very mystical, magical um, energy. And I feel that's where you are right now. You could be manifesting a lot of newness in your life. You know, like I said, perhaps a new home, a new car, a new career. Maybe you've, you know, manifested some contracts um, for a new business. Maybe you've manifested a loan for your business. But I just feel that there's good news. There's positive energy that is surrounding you. And this is energy that you have absolutely manifested. You've tapped in to your own alchemical force and you have co created with source to create this new reality that you're in. And I feel like a lot of people are really, really intrigued by this new version of you, um, really intrigued by, um, you know, just how far you've come. Maybe some of these people, like I said, are from your past and they may have known you from, I'm here in childhood. So maybe they just really, and look at this, I can't make this up, manifestation on the bottom of the deck, 1111, you're manifesting your divine counterpart. So that six that I was getting with the lover's energy, um, that's duality. So you could be attracting your divine masculine. You could also be in alignment emotionally and, you know, logically like that, that masculine feminine energy that the lovers represents feminines rule that emotional, um, energy as the masculines rule, the more logical, more cerebral energy. So I feel like there could be this harmonious energy that's calling in, you know, more, um, profound and significant uh, connections for you. So it could be business connections, but it could also be love. And with the eight men, I keep <laughs> with the eight manifestation, I feel in this eight universal year, this is something that you all, like I said, have co-created, co-inspired, like you've co-inspired with source to manifest something beautiful. And as I said, with this pink, pink deals with the heart chakra. So I feel like you're not only going to be fulfilled, but you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. You're going to be very satisfied. You're going to be overjoyed, you know, and I feel like it's because you're realizing your power, your divinity as a divine feminine, divine masculine is to manifest, is to create, is to birth new ideas, new ways of thinking. And that's absolutely what you're doing. You're tapping into that alchemical force and whatever it is you're manifesting is coming quickly. This could also feel like a wish fulfillment or some sort of blessing because I'm also getting a sense of like, these are, you know, this manifestation is based off the seeds you've sown in the past. So the seeds that you've sown in good faith, they're now harvesting. So something that you've done in the past, like, as I said, you've wrapped up a karmic cycle. So now that you've wrapped up the karmic cycle, that means the lessons that you were bound to learn, meant to learn, you've learned them. And so now moving forward in your new life or in this new chapter, um, you have blessings coming, like a lot of a wonderful, wonderful uh, blessings, maybe some of the prayers you were sending up. Um, you're going to start seeing those things being answered. Um, maybe you've been speaking daily mantras and affirmations and whatever you've been speaking is manifesting. And I feel like if it's not manifesting, um, you know, immediately, because I feel like this is saying it's coming quickly and you don't realize that it's like in your orbit, uh, but it could come in the month of August. I'm getting as well. We have um, Missy Elliott. Someone could be dealing with someone named Missy or Elliot, first, middle, or last. This is called Beat Me 911. I feel like with that 911, it's like it's an emergency. So it's like it's coming quickly as if it's like it's it's an emergency. So if you all did like an emergency, like um like money ritual, like say for instance you have some some bills you're trying to get rid of, and you may have done some sort of ritual, um you know to bring in rapid cash. I feel like it's coming quickly. I also get a sense someone could be from VA, someone could be from Virginia, but I'm getting a sense of like with Beat Me Nine One One, someone very well may reach out to you. Um, maybe you know this is gonna feel like out of the blue, because I, I just get a sense of like, with an emergency, it's just like, you're just quick to action. So maybe that's what I'm picking up, but we will um, delve deeper. And remember what I was saying about trust your intuition. So this is what spirit is saying, trust your intuition, 
This is 12. This reduces to 12. 12 breaks down to 3. And so this is definitely saying, because uh, this 8 and this 4, yeah, yeah, 12, 3. So this is saying, like, with the 3, I feel like someone could be trying to plan, prepare, and strategize um, to come towards you. 9, 1, 1 breaks down to 11. So this could be a karmic. And that's why spirit is telling you to trust your intuition. 8 is a karmic number. We are in an 8 universal year. So I do feel like for you, you're getting your just due. And someone from your past may be very well um, be receiving karma or they may be you know, feeling like someone may reach out and, and be like, yo, it's an emergency. I need to speak to you. Or it's, it's something like that. But spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. It could be a divine masculine. And this person could be someone, um, you know, if it's not a divine masculine, you know, flip the, flip, flip the role so that it is applicable. But it, this seems like this is someone like, um, maybe someone that likes to, uh, because they know as a water sign, Scorpios, um, especially are very like emotionally attentive, um, emotionally intelligent. And so you may very well in the past have been the type of person that was just constantly like, you know, always assisting, always helping out, always concerned with other people's well-being, always trying to be supportive. Maybe you were there, you know, to, um, you know, give advice, whatever the case may be. Someone may be trying to make you feel like there's some sort of an emergency or there's something going on, but it's really just so they could be around you. Um, maybe someone is like, you know, really trying to figure you out and maybe they're just kind of, I feel a little desperation. So they may make something seem a little more serious than it actually is. But with this 22, I feel like spirit is telling you, trust your intuition and also like be mindful also of like your, you know, like opening up your heart chakra to the wrong people. Um, because that's also, you know, a sense of someone who could be, you know, kind of trying to play games a little bit, um, you know, emotional manipulation. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message for my beloved Scorpios. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpio spirit? What messages do you have? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Thank you, spirit. And look what we got there. We got 37 timeout, 46. That's 10, 10. So you absolutely confirmation that you wrapped up cycles. We got Rick James, fire and desire. I told you he was very attractive right now. Someone could be from Buffalo, but I'm also getting a sense like someone was also stubborn, hard headed. And now, you know, now they're seeing something very clearly, maybe because you've established boundaries. Maybe this person was so used to, you know, used to you always like, open, you know, like opening up your door to them. Like you were always open to them. You was always trying to assist them. And maybe now that you've established boundaries, you're not available anymore. You, you're not open. You're not, um, you know, you're not that safe space that this person was used to having. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the number one new beginnings. I mentioned you all were at the precipice or even already jump started some sort of new beginning. With fire and desire, someone is absolutely attracted to you. This one is a very felicious number. This is you, like you've manifested this beautiful new beginning. It's like you've hit the reset button on your life and things are just flourishing. People are just drawn to you. And it's because you just have a completely different like perspective. You're presenting as someone new, someone who's absolutely like matured or has grown or has leveled up in some way. But this one is showing absolutely why you have garnered the attention of so many people because you've literally manifested. You've literally utilized the elements around you to manifest some sort of new reality. And this new beginning is feeling so much like a fresh start. It's just feeling like it has invigorated you in some way. And not only has it invigorated you, but it's made you very attractive to those who are watching you. I feel like you are teaching others as you've been learning, you've been teaching and you don't realize that 1919, that's 1010. So whomever you're attracting, um, you know, new into your life, you're going to attract someone 
that is going to be on the same frequency, the same wavelength. They're going to have similarities, commonalities. This is going to be someone who's learned a lot of the same life lessons or has had to learn self-love, self-worth, self-value. This is someone who's also matured. Um, and has grown up and they're now breaking free from those faulty belief systems and ideologies the same way you had to. Someone's name could be Rick or James, Tina or Marie, first, middle or last name. But with this fire and desire, I feel like there is definitely like this sense of you now, you know, going after the things that you feel most passionate about. Whatever it is that you feel brings you joy brings you happiness, makes you feel content or complete or like you're living, you know, your your truth. That's what you're going to do. This new beginning is that you're ushering in is one where you're being true to yourself first and foremost. One is really about starting with the self, whether it's healing thyself, whether it's, you know, whether it's rejuvenating and re recovering from the past. But this right here shows that you've learned the importance of filling your own cup. And that's why this new beginning is going to be astonishing. It's going to, I heard astonishing. So that is beautiful. So fire and desire, you're following your passions, following your dreams, whatever was like, I feel like there was just, you just knew all along, you know, something that you needed to do. But for whatever reason, it was like, you were kind of like either avoiding it or you were not as optimistic about it. Like you, it was almost like this, this pessimism. I'm getting a sense of pessimism. Like, you know, they, they do say that Scorpios are very fixed. So whatever this was that you were attached to or stuck in, because I get a sense of stuck in stagnancy. It's like, it took a lot for you to get out of either that circumstance or that frame of mind. But it's like now that you see the light, like now that you have removed the veil from your eyes, it's like you are so motivated and so inspired to, you know, go after the things, the very things um, that really uh, motivate and encourage you. Um, and those are your passions. So maybe for a long time, you've kind of set your passions and your dreams to the side because maybe you were the head, you know, the mom, the matriarch or the patriarch of the family. And you've had to take care, you know, of the home and the hearth. But now it's like in this new chapter of your life, you're now prioritizing you. That was what you learned from that former situation, that situation that died. Because remember, we had bad love by dead. So that relationship that met its demise, whether it was through toxicity, lies, deception, betrayals, whatever it was, or whether it was just you walking away to honor and love yourself because you weren't getting what you needed, it still taught you valuable lessons about self-love. And self-love is an inside job. And that's why you're now presenting as someone who not only has learned to fill your own cup, but you can also now fill others' cups. So we have four in the bottom of the deck. So this four deals with the heart chakra. That's also the number of the divine masculine, the emperor. So some of you all do have a divine masculine in mind. Some masculine could be healing currently or opening up their heart chakra. But I do feel like this is saying that you are more stable, more solid now. After a tower fell, it's like you've learned to rebuild and you've rebuilt to a place where now your independence, your you know, your stability, your self-sufficiency is the foundation of your happiness. In this new beginning, you've learned the value of self. And this is beautiful. And you've persevered through a lot, um, you know, that has happened to you. And this is beautiful. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection, what messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Who or what are they attracting to? I'm going to get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Who or what is our beloved Scorpios? So this card wants to fall out. We're going to take it. And we have the number five that says change. So whoever this is, like I said, someone wants to communicate. And remember with that beat me 911, that was a way that we would reach out to each other. Now we text, we call, we DM. But back in the days, I used to have a little beeper. Mine was clear. And, you know, somebody would beep you. You go to the pay phone. They, you know, uh, dial in your beeper number. And then, you know, they'll leave a code like you know, they'll leave a code with their number. So someone is reaching out, you know, this five is the throat chakra. So maybe someone's really, you know, cause I was getting earlier, like that person that may have, 
you know, chose something else, um, now has these regrets. And I was picking up someone from the past and the five and the one is that six that we started off the reading with. And I was picking up like the six of cups. I was even seeing the six of swords where you may have remo removed yourself from a situation, got away from the toxicity or the negativity to create like a safe space, your own little sanctuary, your own little protective bubble. And, you know, this has, you know, forced, you know, I heard the word forced <laughs> someone to do their work because now they're changing. This five deals with that, you know, that Hierophant energy, which is really about maturation. Someone has been learning, someone has been in a studious energy, or someone has been, you know, seeking some sort of sound advice from either like an elder, a matriarch, patriarch in their family, a master teacher, shaman, light worker, healer, whatever, someone that they look up to, someone that is more skilled or more experienced, and that's who they are um, seeking advice from. I feel someone has also made some necessary changes. Maybe someone was conflicted mentally, emotionally, maybe someone had a lot of da -dun -da -dun around them and they was getting the wrong advice or they were seeking counsel from people who were not really, didn't have their best interest at heart or people who really couldn't, um, give them or advise them in the way that they were hoping with 77 spirituality there's no doubt about it that like i said many of you have come in to what your purpose your sole purpose is it's like you are here uh, for a reason and you may have discovered what that reason is with the seven that is a very auspicious number a spiritual number that's also representative of the crown whenever I see double numbers I always feel like not only is that your energy but you're attracting someone that's on the same frequency the same vibration so this is showing me and we almost had 777 I actually saw 777 on a license plate like three times this week um, and I saw 444 I saw 1111 I saw many so many of you could be seeing a lot of sevens you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities um you may be seeing 11 11 i saw 11 11 earlier but with this 7 7 i'm feeling like you're definitely um you know in this space where you are spiritually stronger you know i just get a sense of like you could pick up on energy you could read energy speak energy feel energy um so you are highly sensitive when it comes to you know other people's emotions or feelings or intentions you could pick up on that whomever you're attracting to you as i said i feel like that was going to be someone that was also on the same frequency and vibration and wavelength and this is what it's showing me is that you have a very divine connection with someone this is like a sacred bond or some sort of spiritual cosmic connection but this is beautiful because it shows that you two are already communicating telepathically intuitively maybe this is someone that visits you in your dreams maybe you visit them in your dreams whatever the case may be i feel like there's already some sort of tie, a soul tie or a soul connection. This could be someone from the past life. With 14, I do feel like this is something that divine timing is of essence because good things always takes time to create. And more importantly, if you're wrapping up cycles, spirit, before they want to align you with your divine person, passion, um, purpose, it's like they want to make sure that you've cleaned house, like you've rid yourself of all of that negativity or all of those old belief systems or ideologies or old that old energy, that old stagnant energy, so that when something new comes in, you don't sabotage it. You don't, you know, it's like sometimes people don't realize that the time after a breakup um, to heal yourself and to go within that space of like rejuvenating and recovering um, is very imp it's important um, because it allows for you to get rid. It allows you to purge and to release yourself from those things that were holding you, you know, hostage or bondaged or that had you feeling attached um, energetically or anchored, I should say, energetically. So with this new 7-7, seven, seven, I feel like this is going to be such a sacred bond and connection. It's going to just be different from any connection you've ever had because I feel like this spiritual connection is one that you've been manifesting and calling in because you have leveled up and graduated spiritually um, and have, have gone through this beautiful awakening 
you're attracting a like-minded individual. What we have right now is Boogie Down Productions is called Love's Gonna Get You. So this is someone, someone could be from the Bronx um, and definitely someone, someone's name could be Chris, but I'm also feeling like with Love's Gonna Get You, you definitely are going to rise in love. So this person, whoever this is, because I was feeling someone's heart chakra was opening up, whether that's the person you're attracting or whether that's you, Scorpio, th this is what's going to happen. This 7714, that's spirit literally saying like divine timing is of essence. You know, patience is a form of action. The more you continue to work on yourself and grow, because the 14 breaks down to five, that's still that energy of the hierophant where you're still in that very, you know, um, you know, very in a, in, in a studious energy, you know, still learning, still mastering oneself, still studying, still seeking wise counsel. So you're still open to learn. You're taking those internal self audits. And this five is the same energy of who or what you're attracting to you. So this is someone who realizes they need to change because they see that you're spiritually, you know, um, you're spiritually strong. And not only that, but you're, you're highly intuitive and you could see right through the games and the negativity. You could see through that. And they know that you don't have a space, you know, in your life for that drama, for that negativity, because you've done so much work to heal yourself. So with this seven, seven, this, this, this is literally someone, um, that is like, they're going through their own startling metamorphosis, if you will. Um, to make those changes with love's going to get you. Like I said, someone is realizing, um, you know, just the magnitude I feel of, you know, the connection or the attraction, the love they may be feeling for you with love's going to get you. This is someone that could have been a player used to being like, you know, that playboy or that playgirl that was never, you know, into being committed, didn't want a committed relationship until they bumped into you. And when they bumped into you and lost you, that's what opened up their heart chakra. That's what opened up their mind. So let's tap in. I just saw 3131. That's 4-4. Four, four. And that 4-4 four, four is another 8 um, and that eight definitely is giving me karmic energy. Eight is also the strength. So this person could be mustering up the strength. We have the number nine here, completion. So how they feel about you is you definitely are in a space where you are kind of guarded. Um, the nine is really showing that you have been through the thick of it. Like you've been through a lot of disappointments. You've been through a lot of hurts. And one thing you're not doing anymore is giving anyone the benefit of the doubt or giving them the opportunity to play you again. So you have literally created like, you know, this, this, this wall of protection because I'm seeing like the nine of wands and you're not letting anyone in. And it's because you've learned that the people that were closest to you, they've stabbed you in the back repeatedly. They've disappointed you repeatedly. You may have discovered people were talking ish about you, gaslighting you, manipulating you, playing you, and all you were doing was loving them. So now it's like you're done because you've seen the light. You've gone within to seek wise counsel with your higher self and with your angels, your guides. You've reached that level of Christ consciousness and realize it's time to keep it pushing. But you also feel in this state more content because you've done a lot of self-discovery. You've done a lot of internal work. And what you've realized is that you absolutely deserve everything that you desire. So someone is now realizing and understanding that you are, in fact, like a wish fulfillment. But they also know that you're done done. Like you're done done. You're done done fit. You're not playing games with anybody. You're not playing any type of you know, um, you know, like semantics and you're, you're not playing the little mind games. You're not involving or entangling yourself in negativity. So you have created these walls, these boundaries, and someone realizes it's going to take a lot. And I just saw three, 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 and your ascended masters, your angels are protecting you. They've absolutely, you know, assisted you in wrapping up the cycle. Cause I get a sense that this was a difficult, difficult, um, lesson for you to learn and grow from. We have average white band and this is called pick up the pieces. So you now, you know, this person realizes that, you know, after being disappointed or after some sort of tower moment that they've destroyed, you've been working on rebuilding and you've been picking up the pieces to your life and repairing things and recovering from the disappointments and the hurt. But what 
what this has also taught you because everything in life is a lesson. The good, the bad, and the ugly. It's all a lesson to teach you how to treat yourself, but more importantly, you teach others how to treat you. So if you have lack self-love, then you're going to be a doormat for other people. But when, when you start implementing self-love and establishing boundaries, then people have no, you know, no choice but to respect your boundaries. So with completion, you're completing that cycle where you were overcompensating, maybe giving more than you were receiving, or where you simply, you know, were allowing certain people in your cipher that didn't deserve it. And so now this nine is showing that you are moving forward and you're growing in your process. You're growing to become a better version of yourself. So this is beautiful. So what we have here. So the nine, this is how someone sees you um, or how they feel about you is nine. They definitely see you as a wish fulfillment, but they also see you're, you're wrapping up these cycles. Like I said, I was getting like teaching and learning from that energy as well. So um, what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And so we have the number two. And so there's two patients. So what did I say? Good things take time to create. And two is also given, again, like trusting your intuition. Because remember, we had that 2-2 two, two, um, intuition card show up during the split. So this two is the high priestess energy. So this is what could be hidden. So what could be hidden that you don't realize is that someone is wanting to take their time to get it right. Maybe there is a decision and someone is trying to choose wisely or someone is trying to you know, make the right choice or plan and prepare and strategize a way to come toward you. I feel like if some of you all have been waiting for love, I feel like your patience is definitely guaranteeing some sort of sacred connection because I'm getting like the two of cups as well. Like you've been very patient in this process and it's because you've been working on you. And so you're going to attract what you are. So when you do that work, like I said, when you get back to one, you know, the one deals with the root chakra. So that's healing, past pains, wounds, traumas. That's also getting to the root cause of said traumas, whether it's childhood traumas, familial traumas, whether it's your own trauma um, from certain life experiences. It's like you've navigated your way through that to heal. And so now with this two patients, I feel like, you know, because you were so patient in this process, now you're attracting someone that wants to give to you equally. I'm getting like the two of cups, as I said, this is like an equal give and take. What I see in the bottom of the deck is nine, nine compassion. So like I said, someone is definitely, you know, I heard heavy, you know, a heavy head. They have conscious, you know, like a um, guilty conscious for whatever they've done in the past, which is why they're seeking your compassion. But I feel also more than anything, spirit is reminding you to be compassionate. I feel spirit is also acknowledging that you are a very compassionate and empathetic person. And this is the reason why you've graduated and made some sort of spiritual changes and even picked up the pieces to your life because you didn't judge others. You were very patient. You were very forgiving. And forgiveness is always for you. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you forgive someone and take them back in. Forgiveness is forgiving them for the wrong they've done. Not holding someone, you know, um, not, you know, keeping someone bound to their wrongdoings, you know, like it, it's like no one's perfect. So people are going to hurt us. People are going to do us wrong. But it's like when you walk around and hold that animosity or that visceral and that anger, um, all that does is hold you back and it anchors you energetically. So through your forgiveness is how you've elevated is how you've graduated ultimately. So this is powerful. So that's also a reminder for you to uh, show compassion if you haven't thus far. So the bottom of the deck, we have 48 financial discipline. So many of you, like I said, could be sharpening your sword, honing a skill. Maybe you're starting a new business. Maybe you've started a new career, whatever this is. It's like you have new partnerships, you're building new alliances, and you're also like collaborating more with individuals in your future. Like I see more of a collaborative effort. I don't know if you are looking for a partner or whatever the case may be. If you are, even if you're looking for a new career or even whatever this energy is. This is like working together. I'm hearing teamwork makes the dream work. This is what I'm hearing. So you have someone that's going to be very, you know, very giving, very, uh, very, um, supportive. 
and we got 46 domestic harmony and then we have the 55 adventure i feel like you're gonna definitely be like i'm hearing thrill thrilling i'm hearing like exciting you know because i was picking up like something coming unexpectedly with that beat me 911 because 911 is like an emergency but i feel like you know this that was like someone's energy just it's like it feels like you know it has to happen right now but i do feel like spirit is telling you like enjoy life this is also just you taking on that energy where you know life right now is just like you're just living your best life. You're enjoying life. You're not bound by, you know, what other people think about you. You're not bound by anything right now. You're living free. You're being free. And I also told you somebody wanted to communicate and that 33 is there. So, and they're communicating with you telepathically or intuitively right now. And that's the reason why spirit was saying, trust your intuition. You could be picking up on that. Maybe you're getting a surge of energy, which is kind of letting you know that someone's coming in with the 46. I do feel someone has um, either been through or going through the process of a divorce or separation. Um, but this is definitely taught you to love thyself. Like I said, love is an inside job. And I do feel like this was something that was serious or maybe you were engaged, maybe you were married, maybe you were looking to get married and it just never took off. It never went in the direction perhaps that you were expecting and it just kind of, it, it, it just fizzled and died. Um, it was bad love. You, you weren't with someone that was protective of you or honored you. Um, but you were definitely with someone that was meant to come into your life to teach you to honor and value yourself. With this 48, your new cycle, you're going to have someone that is going to absolutely put in the effort, put in the work, because this is someone that loves you. This is someone that's genuinely there for the right reasons and not an opportunist or not someone who is secretly trying to, you know, just take. You know, this is someone that wants to collaborate, wants to have that equal exchange of give and take. With D'Angelo, me and those dreamy eyes of mine, and we also have JD, J Dilla, rising power to J Dilla. Um, someone could be from Virginia. This is the second um, artist that comes out of VA. We had Missy Elliott, and now we have D'Angelo. So someone could be in VA. Um, I'm also hearing someone could be like a veteran. Someone could be like military in the military, ex-military or security. Maybe they got a, you know, some sort of background in the military, law enforcement, security. Um, sector of things but someone's name could also be d'angelo so with 37 time out this is the outcome i absolutely feel with that 37 that's an end endings always indicate new beginnings so if you have been in that hermit mode like i was saying and this is how someone was also seeing you in that hermit mode you know like out of um you know, out of a commission almost. It's like they can't even reach you if they wanted to. But it's like this time out, you're now, you know, going to take a time out from being in time out. You're now going to, you know, go out there and take action and start going after what you want. Maybe someone that you're attracting, because this is the outcome. I do feel like with 37, this is saying that, you know, now you're going to take action after coming out of that phase of like, you know, I'm getting more like, you know, just incubation. And that's a process of like just processing and 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 doing those internal self audits and self discovery, you know. So it's really just and even healing, you know, healing and growing and 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 looking back and awareness. Um, but that's that energy. So with you, you know, coming out of time out, um, <laughs> I'm hearing warriors come out and play. <laughs> like I'm hearing that from that movie Warriors. So I feel like now you're coming out to play. Now you're coming out to, you know, have fun, enjoy yourself. Because this 55 is giving me a sense of like things are going to be real thrilling and exciting in, in this new chapter. Like you're just going after everything you want, doing everything you want to do in this phase and stage of your life. Whereas in the past, you could have been a little more, you know, a little more guarded or rigid or just, you know, kind of like, I don't want to say approved, but you know, you just didn't really, 
enjoy yourself as much as you should have because you had other priorities. So we got fulfillment of wishes and I did pick up on that energy when we were seeing that eight manifestation. So you absolutely have some sort of blessings, a wish fulfillment. I even said with this energy, I was getting someone sees you as a wish fulfillment and I just saw a 444. So your angels are the ones that are aligning you with this. This is a blessing coming from your angels because they have watched you work. This in this you know, energy here looks like they're graduating, you know, so that's the energy I was picking up. Like you've leveled up, like you're spiritually um, intelligent or spiritually stronger. You've gone through some spiritual awakening and you're graduating, you're leveling up because you've learned how to call in, draw in, manifest um, everything that you desire. And with me and those dreaming eyes of mine, and I just saw 444 again, and we're about to see it now, 4444, confirmation. So you may be seeing 444s. That could be a sign that your wishes are coming true. That's confirmation that your wishes are coming true with dreaming eyes. Like pay attention to your dreams. I'm getting a sense of like, you know, you may be having some really, um, some really vivid dreams at this time. And I feel like you may see the face of someone or maybe someone's eyes may feel familiar or, you know, someone may love your eyes, the shape of your eyes, the color of your eyes. I just get a sense of something with your eyes. Like, but I'm also getting a sense of like spirit also saying like, trust your intuition, use your first eyes to see, um, and not the two because you could be deceived or you could have someone returning. Um, that could be just kind of like manipulating i'm getting manipulative so what we have on the split look at that divine feminine self-mastery this is a beautiful energy this is you in your divinity this is you tapping in to your divinity tapping in you know to that creativity the divine feminine has reached that level of self-mastery this is what i'm showing and you've grown you've healed you've opened up your heart chakra remember i was speaking to the heart chakra opening up and that's what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing that you're just super attractive. You know, the overall energy, this new beginning is this is how you are, you know, showing up in the world. This is how you, this is how you present yourself. You know, you, you, you have this, this air of either confidence. You're just regal. You're royal. You're beautiful. You're attractive. You're maternal, you're, you just have a beautiful energy. And this is the wish fulfillment. So you've manifested something. I feel someone definitely um, could be a little intimidated by you as well, you know, because I get a sense of like you just, you know, really knowing who you are. Look at this leveling up. I can't make this up. I told you you had a spiritual partnership. And the funny thing is this card actually belongs in the numerology deck. This doesn't even belong. Look, oh, snazap. We got two cards from, this is the psychic tarot and this is numerology. So these are bonus messages and you have spiritual partnership and then you also have spiritual career. And I was telling y'all that some of y'all were chosen. Some of y'all had, you know, some, so you, you were being aligned by your angels. We saw three, 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 and then we saw four, 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 four in the reading. And whenever the angels show up like that, that definitely means that you are protected you know, you're being protected because you are an earth angel. You have a soul's purpose and they're aligning you with the right person. We saw that 20, I mean, that seven, seven. And I was saying you had like a spiritual connection with someone that it will, um, you know, it's going to feel like you've, I just feel like you're going to feel like you've known this person. Like your stories are just going to mirror one another. It's, it's just going to be that, um, that intense, this connection. So the split here, now we have the universe. That's the world card. So the world, the universe is favoring you, but this also shows you've graduated. You've reached that level of self-mastery and you've gained a deeper, more profound inner standing of not only yourself, but of your situations, your life. This is a beautiful energy. And look, new beginnings again. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. And you're willing, you know, to be brave. You're braving your light. You're leaning in your strength. And you're going after everything that you desire with this new beginning. You're fearless. You know, that's what the fool is. When you think of traditional tarot, the fool is willing to leap off that, you know, that 
that um, cliff, you know, to go after their dream, you know, and that's literally what this energy is right here. With the 21, again, self-mastery, that breaks down to three. So reaching that level of self-mastery and learning from past pains and hurts. That three also is giving me this, the, the three of swords. And we have T, um, Tiana, um, I'm sorry, we have Slim Thug. And this is called uh, Peaceful. See that? Oh, I love this. Yeah, you reach a level of self-mastery where your dreams are coming true. It says accelerated motion. And you're going to have a peaceful life. You're going to have a beautiful, you know, new beginning. This new chapter is going to be peaceful. It's going to be, you're going to be elated. Like I said, you're going to feel content. And this is based off of the seeds that you've sown. Some of you may be seeing shooting stars. When you see that shooting star, make a wish because it's going to come true. I just saw 49, 49, and that reduces to eight again. Your wishes are coming true. This year is an eight universal year. So I feel like spirit is just emphasizing blessings are coming in. You can see all the mountains in the backdrop. This is everything that you've had to persevere from. This is all the resilience, the strength, the drive, the determination, the ambition, you know, the fearlessness. This is all of that work you had to do to get to this place where now, you know, you, you, you do have some blessings coming in. You do have wish fulfillments coming in. It's because you never, you never gave up. You never gave up hope. You continue to pray. You continue to say your daily mantras. You continue to speak your affirmations every single day, regardless of how everything in your life was, you know, how it would looked. You still remain hopeful, optimistic. Remember, I was getting the energy of someone who was kind of like pessimistic. And then when you got out of that mindset, it's like things took off. That's a lack mentality. And this is someone who knows who knows their worth. This is being in equilibrium, being in harmony with spirit because you know you can co you can you can co-create with source because you've learned how to tap into your alchemical alchemical force. Someone could be from Texas. All right, so divine spirit of peace, power and protection. Okay. So we got a message that turned over, it chose itself. So one Look at that. One is clarifying one. And remember, I was talking about you getting to the root cause. And this is why you have a new beginning, because you you took the necessary steps. You went back to the rooter, to the tutor, to the root cause. You got to the root cause. You can't heal yourself if you're not going to be real with yourself. And that's what you did. And this base chakra is showing, you know, remember, we had dead saying bad love, you know, and you can't love properly if you're toting around baggage from your childhood or from past life or from familial traumas. So you could have been the one that was also contributing to a bad love experience because you weren't loving yourself the right way. Love is an inside job. And so now with that, you know, with that lesson learned, it's like moving forward, you're absolutely going to be, you know, sh sure. You're going to be positive to prioritize you and to teach others moving forward how to treat you. So this one and one, this is you coming into alignment with someone who's also done their work. You're attracting what you are. So you're going to attract someone who has taken the time to heal, who has a healthy relationship with themselves, but also a healthy relationship with their mothers, their fathers or their umis and their babas. You're not going to deal with someone who has these estranged relationships or grievous relationships with their mother or father. Because that's a sign that there's work that they got to do. So this right here shows the work, the dedication, you know, the commitment that you had to healing, to growing, to maturing. On the bottom of the deck, we have 32. And this says music. And the song that's playing right now is Lonnie Liston. And look at the name of the song, Astral Traveling. And remember, I was saying that the person that you was attracting to you was communicating with you either intuitively, telepathically, maybe they're dreaming of you, they could be visiting you astrally. That's what this is. This person wants to communicate. They're trying hard to change something. So with astral traveling, this is someone that does spy. With music, this is someone that could hear songs and it makes them think of you. This is someone that may have certain songs that they listen to and it perhaps may say everything that, you know, they're not saying. Maybe a song has changed their perspective. You know, maybe this is something that someone is doing. Maybe someone is a musician or an artist or may play instruments. 
you know, maybe someone is also clairaudient, but I get a sense that someone is definitely spying. Someone could have been born in 1973. That 1973 breaks down to, um, what does that break down to? 11? That breaks down to 11. So this 11 justice, someone is, this, this is given a sense of like, someone wants justice in a situation, but I also am getting a sense of like, this is a karmic. You know, and this is a karmic that was forced to change because they were very hostile. I feel like there was a lot of, of just to me, a lot of um, just chaotic energy. You know, there, there was not a lot of, I just don't get a sensible person. I get someone who's very conflicted. So 3232 three, two is clarifying. So you see how so far... Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Mirror, mirror. So the one is clarifying the one. We got the five on the bottom of the deck with the five. So it's all mirroring. So you're attracting someone that is mirroring you. I feel that's the reason why we opened up the reading on with the number six. Because I feel like you have more than one person that's approaching you. And I just saw five, 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 which is 15. That's the devil. So you may have someone that is definitely obsessed or super possessive of you. And that's giving me someone from your past. Because the 555 five, five breaks down to 15. Which breaks down to 6. So that's that person from the past. Who has a heavy heart. Heavy conscious. You know sleeping on a heavy conscious. Like this is someone who has regrets. And I feel what spirit is saying. Is like for you. You have to trust your intuition. You know. you. It's up to you to trust your intuition. So let's tap it. So why is this five change here for who or what I believe Scorpios are attracting to them? Someone's definitely spying. I'm getting an eye spy. Someone that is, because remember, you also had that seven, seven. So you may also, you know, this could be someone, you know, someone new. You could have uh, caught the eye of someone that's, um, you know, that's new, that's attracted to you as well. That may, you know, also be very, um, you know, very sp skilled or, you know, have some sort of um, esoteric or occult knowledge. So let's tap in. Let's clarify this message for this number five. And then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. I actually recorded another reading. And I was kind of trying to see if I wanted to, to um, upload it. It's pretty lengthy. And... Um, I may, I may still do it because that was a very good read also, but it was really speaking to this devil energy that was just around, like just constantly like in your energy. So the bottom of the deck, wow, look at this. This is another numerology card and another, look at this. So you got 74, 11, and then you got, um, uh, 44 environment. See this? And remember, I was picking up the justice card because we had that, um, the time. So this is interesting. Look at this, trapped in fear. I told you somebody was mentally conflicted. This is self-imposed, by the way. That's given like the eight of swords, the eight trapped in fear. Whoever this person is, they are trapped in fear. I was getting someone intimidated because you coming off like a goddess, like a god, like a queen, like a king, like an emperor, like an empress. But this 74 it says nature. So whoever this person is, I feel like, and then we got 44. So what I'm gathering first and foremost is I'm getting like, you may have several people as I initially was picking up on. One of these individuals are going to feel like a la na the connection is just going to be like, boom, boom, boom. Like, it's just like the conversation's going to be flowing before you know it. You look up four hours, then pass. I feel like you may meet this person in the outside setting. This person may be someone that you may live around. This could be someone that, you know, when you go take your little walks or jogs or bike ride, uh, go to a trail or a park or whatever. It's like this may be someone that frequents those same spaces as you. This is someone I feel that spirit is also saying like, they're asserting themselves like they're going to assert themselves. They're going to come towards you um, once they build up and muster up that courage. Um, we also have this 44 environment. So I do feel like they're going to take action. Um, but this eight 
because we got eight and then we got seven here. This still breaks down to 15. So that's why I'm like, you may have several people, but that devil is still showing up because someone is obsessed. 58, 58, that's 13, 13. So the death is showing you're attracting multiple people, but the death is showing a startling metamorphosis. So perhaps, like I said, someone has had some sort of epiphanous moment or someone has grown from their experiences in the past. Maybe you've taught them something and now they're making the necessary changes, but you're also attracting someone that you will have a very natural connection with. I also feel spirit is saying, if you've been trapped in the house, stuck in the house, it's time to get outside. Maybe this is this person that you're attracting to you who has been kind of stuck. You know, someone has been kind of like stuck in this, this, um, like in this loop almost in this routine. And I feel like, you know, with this 44 environment, I feel someone really is trying to figure out how to, um, to come towards you, to, you know, put forth this effort, you know, cause I was getting someone who needs to work a little bit on perhaps their confidence. Um, maybe this is someone that is like a little bit, some cards fell. So I'm trying to get it. All right. So maybe this is someone that is like, you know, from the past, like they're, they're realizing they need to make some changes. They need to assert themselves in a certain way to be accepted by you. But I'm also getting a sense like this person, you know, this, there's another person, like a new person, um, that you are going to feel beautiful, beautiful connection with. Um, look at this forgiveness. Someone is seeking your forgiveness and it, and this card fell too. So these are the cards. I'm taking all of this. Look at this come as I was speaking to 1313 startling metamorphosis. This is how the, this is the person you're attracting to you. So someone else is going through some sort of karmic cycle, like they're completing a karmic cycle. Whilst another person, remember the 96, 15, that same six energy that we opened up the reading, same five, 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 we just saw 15, six. And I was talking about that devil. That's this energy. This person wants forgiveness. So that person that did a lot of wrong in, in, in your relationship with them in the past, they are struggling. And I was telling you, they were laying on a, like this person is up in the middle of the night and suffering with a guilty conscience. And this is a lot to do with, you know, the decisions they've made in the past. Now they're feeling abandoned because you have absolutely, you know, set up boundaries. You know, this person cannot come in. They can't reach you. They can't talk to you. And it's because you've literally um, established some boundaries with this person. Um, this could be someone that's literally like depressed. They could spend a lot of time indoors in the dark. You know, I just get depression. I get conf conflict. I was picking up someone mentally conflicted. Look at this. How they feel about you now. We got heartache and loss. They feel like they've lost you. They feel like this connection is done. They feel like you're done. It's done. They feel like you're guarded. They feel like, you know, that, that, and this is why they, remember I was, I told you I was feeling this energy and it's coming up. So this, whoever this person is with astral traveling, um, this is someone that definitely wants, um, you know, wants to come back into your life, but they definitely feel defeated in this situation. So why is the nine completion here for how this person, I beloved Scorpios. Um, okay. So this card wants to be chosen and we look at this authority. I can't make this up. So this is that person. This is a divine masculine. Remember we saw that four, four, um, or the four rather, um, perseverance. So this is how they see you, <laughs> how they feel about you is they feel like you are in control. You're in your power. You're a leader. You're a boss. You're a go-getter. You make things happen. You're a master manifester. You are skilled. You are in your divinity and you done done fin like the, uh, this emperor doesn't play like this is someone that does not play emperors rule empires. So you call in the shots. That's why I said I was getting someone intimidated by you almost. But they feel intimidated because your body language is like you're not with the ishts. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is you. Your body language is like guarded. So that's how they feel. Like they can't get through. And that's what's making them even more um, trapped in this place of fear. You know? And we have Mary J. Blige. You don't have to worry. <laughs> 
You don't have to worry. So someone could be from Yonkers. Someone's name could be Mary. Yonkers, New York, that is. What's hidden is we have transformation. I've been talking about transformations and startling metamorphosis and 1313 showed up on the clock. Like, and, and here we are, voila. So what's hidden is major change. That's why spirit is like, be patient. Patience is a form of action. And this is the action you're taking. You're, you're, you are, you know, ridding yourself, you know, of old, the old you, the old you has died and the new you is rising. And look at that crown, you know, and or the first eye. You see that little medallion that that is to amplify, you know, the the first eye energy. So that's what spirit is reminding you of, especially when it comes to love, when it comes to matters of the heart. You're going to use your intuition. She's wearing green, which means she's healed. You know what I'm talking about? You can't fake this healing. This is what's, you know, this is what. um you know, creating, you know, this is what's creating and manifesting this, this change, this new version, this emergence of a new you. And that's why spirit is saying, be patient. I also feel like spirit is saying, be patient because whoever you're attracting is also going through, like I said, a startling metamorphosis, or they're also going through a major transformation and they're going through these changes the same way you've had to. And they're going to require that time you know, to really just, um, to love themselves, to heal themselves. Um, but this energy right here, the four, I feel like this is love blossoming because the two, like I said, was given like the two of cups to me. So the two, and then this four is the six. So that's the lovers. That's the same number we saw. So why is this? And, and with, you don't have to worry. I feel like spirit is saying, you don't have to worry about this because remember we saw that you was having some sort of wish fulfillments, blessings were coming through. And that's what happens when you actually do the work. So why is this two patience here for what's hidden? Thank you, spirit. And then we have prosperity begins. Look at that beautiful energy. Prosperity begins. So I told you, you have wish fulfillments coming in. That's what spirit is telling you. Look at this moderation. So that 14, remember I was breaking down 14, the temperance, and it was saying good things take time to create. So patience and patience is confirming one another basically because patience and moderation changes are being made that's why spirit is saying it's like you know almost like you know when you go to the construction construction site men at work <laughs> you know what i'm saying this page is under construction well this person whoever you're attracting to you even if this is your energy scorpios you're under construction and when that moment or time arises where someone can take action because this all breaks down to seven that's when someone will assert themselves. They'll be assertive and they'll come through confidently, or this could just speak to that victory and that breakthrough that's um, going to happen when someone finally gets out of their head and follows. So we have two. So this says decisions, movements, choices. That's why someone could be, you know, taking their time so they could get it right. Remember I was saying there was choices that need to be made and someone's trying to choose wisely. We have Coco T, good life. So I do feel like someone is really trying to make the right decision because they want this new chapter to be good. Like we saw earlier, they want to have, you know, a peaceful existence, a peaceful life. This could be your energy. So you're going to be very, you know, mindful, you know, of who you allow in your circle, in your cipher. And so that's what this is all about. You want a good life. And I feel like spirit is saying you don't realize that you're going to have a good life based off of these decisions that you've made as well. And we have emotional withdrawal. So there's been some healing. You know, you've had to walk away from people, places and things and purge and get rid of what no longer serves you. This is an energy of you like calling in spirit, calling on your ancestors to lean on them because you felt emotionally bankrupt. But now you are being rejuvenated. You know, you can see these footsteps. This could definitely speak to your angels and your ancestors that are definitely carrying you at this time. And last but not least, we have the shadow, the 18. So this is showing that there was absolutely some sort of that that duality of light and dark. You know, the 18 is really that energy of, you know, doing, you know, that shadow work, um, whether that's you working through some of your own, you know, um, 
working through some of your own um, trauma and pain, um, or this could be someone mirroring you, you know, with that shadow work, it, this is the work that's hidden, you know, this is what's hidden beneath the veil, but this is also someone that mirrors you, you know, this is someone that could be mirroring you. With prosperity begins, you absolutely, remember I was speaking the seeds that you've sown in the past, look at this. This is like the seed is growing and blossoming and your tree is producing fruit. And it's also coming from universe source, the divine, because you have one, two, three, four, um, I feel blessings. So if you've been blissed recently, like, you know, with a new job, um, with a new home, with a, you know, a loan or whatever it is, new car, um, I feel like you're going to have more wishes come true. Like this is, this is really, um, going to feel like a very new beginning, like an exciting, fresh start for you. And spirit is absolutely, absolutely, uh, rewarding you. I feel your business will boom. I feel you will be successful in whatever it is that you are, you know, working towards. I just see success. I see major breakthroughs and victories for you. And I feel also, you know, the same thing is applicable in love. Not only will you be emotionally fulfilled, but you will be financially fulfilled. And I see it says no pain in strifes. So that is very um, interesting because what I'm getting from that is, you know, I'm hearing I heard no pain, no gain. So it's almost like you, you didn't go through it. You grew through it. And whatever doesn't kill you ultimately makes you stronger. And so we have Cambada, and this is called 33. Some of you all could have, um, and that's the same number we started the reading, but some of you all could be 33 years young. 33 is a powerful number as well. Threes are very auspicious, the same as seven. All numbers are very auspicious to me, to be honest. But, you know, threes, three is a very magical, magical number, um, according to Nikola Tesla and just, you know, many great thinkers and scientists. So that 33, that is like you are, some of you all are great communicators, great orators. I feel like a lot of you are also very psychic or you could be channelers. Um, I'm absolutely feeling like you have new love coming in. And I feel like if you've met someone in your past, um, it's possible that someone is um, wanting to come towards you or want, like someone from your past wants to return, but they have a heavy heart. They have deep remorse, deep regret. But this is someone who does the same thing over and over and over and over um, and doesn't learn the lesson I'm getting because I feel like with karmic completion, like someone is, you know, trying very hard you know, to wrap up a cycle where it's another person could be like trying to hold on, you know, to the past or, you know, and it's like someone is obviously breaking free from the past, but someone's trying to hold them back from the past. But you have blessings coming in regardless. Why is the 37 time out, 78 spiritual career and 27 spiritual partnership? I told you spiritual. I was picking up like you were spiritually strong. You've gone through a spiritual awakening. Dang, there's a lot of cards. I'm not taking all those. Let me get my cards a bang, bang, boogie. All right. Why is... Thank you. Okay. Bottom of the deck. We got third eye. Remember where I told you, use your first eye because we had that six. And there goes the six right here. So this is definitely saying that you need to use your intuition because as I said, I'm just picking up, you got options. I'm picking up, you got options. I'm picking up someone from the past that's going to see you in a completely new light. Um, maybe they see you with a new boo. Maybe they see you in a new car, see you doing something new. Maybe you got a new haircut. Maybe you looking good because you done lost some weight and you look like a new you. Whatever the case may be, that's going to make someone want to double back around. But this is also telling me, Again, like I said, use your intuition when it comes to matters of the heart because the six deals with the lovers. Um, so the cards that actually flew out for you, look at this. I love this. Look at this. I told you you have wish fulfillment. You got material and spiritual prosperity. 
This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. So this is just showing me that like you have definitely garnered all of this like this not garnered but earned I should say you've earned these blessings that are coming in because I was getting a sense of like you planting your seeds in good faith regardless of how things appeared in the outer world you did not allow it to affect your inner world and now your inner world is being reflected in your outer world so you are now being blessed beyond measure because you stayed true you stayed true to it this is beautiful man and look how there's a sun and a moon there. That's also like, you know, doing, you know, showing like that solar eclipse energy. I feel with the solar eclipse, the lunar eclipse, the Mercury retrograde. Now we got Jupiter and um, Uranus that was in conjunction. And Mars right now is in, I believe, retrograde. The, all of this energy, this surge of energy really helped to like excavate those things that needed to be like purged and released. Finally, and some of you all are chosen, as I said earlier, because I just saw one four four four. So I'm, I just saw that one forty four, and it just made me feel like some of you all are absolutely chosen. With the waiting game, I definitely feel like spirit is just reminding you patience is a form of action. Some of you may feel like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and if you look closely, you know this this tree is absolutely growing. And it's, you know, growing leaves. So I feel whatever you're waiting for, it's going to flourish. And I feel like maybe something in the month of June with that 33.6, something will, you know, really um, blossom for you. We also have, look at this, material harvest. So not only do you have spiritual and material prosperity, but you also have this material harvest. So your angels and ancestors are absolutely rewarding you. And they're rewarding you because you've been through this process where you were literally, you know, kind of growing impatient, um, you know, just waiting for, you know, your blessings or waiting for answers to your prayers. And spirit is literally saying that it's here. It's coming. It's here. And not only is it here, but it's in your orbit. <laughs> it's in your orbit. And this is a blessing come true. Look at this victories and success. I told you I saw victories. And now you have this energy where spirit is saying that there is absolutely uh, this beautiful um, open road, this beautiful new beginning and you're going to be successful, not only in your career, but you're going to be successful in your spiritual partnerships. You know, these could be work relationships. This could be love ships, friendships. You could be connecting with your soul tribe. Whatever the case may be, you have victory and success in this year. And that's another six. So you may know this, feel this, sense this. You could taste it. You could just feel it in the air because you highly intuitive. Look at all these cards. Spiritual union. I told you. I told you. You had a spiritual bond, spiritual connection with someone. I can't make this up. And I told you it was the two of cups. And there goes the two of cups. And I was getting the two of cups even with this. And that's what spirit is reminding you. Be patient. Because good things take time to create. If you want some old like microwavable stuff, you can get that bad love you had last year or five years ago. But if you want something where you're going to have the meeting of the minds, where the two of you are going to be like-minded, where the two of you are going to have similar interests, goals, aspirations, this is what you are attracting to. A very spiritual, sacred bond and connection. And look at this. You got another card speaking to being recognized and rewarded. I can't make this up. This is what the blessings are for you. You're being recognized. If you look back here, there are four pyramids. And that represents mind, body, and soul. Fours are numbers of stability. Four represents not only, you know, the number of the cardinal directions, but also of the elements. And I feel like these four uh, pyramids represent, you know, water, fire, earth, and air. And that three is the divine feminine energy, the empress energy. If you're feminine, masculines is the number four. But this is showing self-mastery, reaching that level of self-mastery, tapping into your divinity, owning it, mastering 
your ability to manifest, tapping into your alchemical force, you're being acknowledged, you're spiritually stronger. 21 is the universe or the world card in this deck. We pulled that and we saw the universe. And I was saying that that was three, that reaches, that's that self-mastery. That's when you reach a deeper, more profound understanding of not only yourself, but of the world, you know, and, and here you are being acknowledged and recognized. Also draped in a cloak, which shows spiritual prowess so this is a beautiful beautiful reading scorpios i don't even know what i'm gonna call this but this is beautiful and look what we have playing right now my husband nas rare so you are in fact a rare breed you are in fact an earth angel you are in fact chosen look at these spiritual cards i can't make this up and spirit is behind all of the blessings that are pouring in for you all of the blessings that are pouring in are coming straight from the divine. That's why spirit was telling you, be patient, beloved. We know what you've been through. We know what you've been growing through. And it's going to all be worth it in the end. This is beautiful. I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat Asheo. Peace.